You did some cleaning, huh? Sure did. Feels very clean in here. Thanks, Bob. Wow, look at that. Did you hear? Did you guys hear that vlog? <laughs> Thursday, and I woke up reminded of why I don't drink. <sighs> I had three drinks last night. I feel like absolute dog, and I'm gonna go take care of it the best way I know how. Exhausting. Okay, so today is the first of the month and that means there's a lot of business to take care of. Gotta pay rent, gotta send out invoices to clients, and there's something that I've needed to do for a long time that's been overdue, and that is clean up my workspace in my room. Gotten a little bit of a late start because last night I was up way too late editing the vlog, but that's really no excuse. I have to figure out a way to make these vlog edits either go faster or get better about not needing sleep. But I kind of think I need sleep because that shit is important. So I have to find a solution for that. But regardless, we can't spend time dwelling on what we could have done better. We just do it better. <laughs> Okay, today is a day to clean up my room because like Jordan Peterson says, your room is an externalization of your mind. To the degree that you're in your room, the room is you. And I personally would love to have an organized mind with organized thoughts that I can make sense of. exception of my laundry and my bedding, that's pretty much a wrap on cleaning this room. Two hours later. Okay, well I passed out and I left my sheets in the laundry and now it's raining. Clean up your room. Clean up your room. Real quick, I just want to talk about balancing hustle and fatigue because those two things are always on a scale against each other and especially with today's hustle culture it can be easy to burn out and just get exhausted like i said last night i was editing the video for the vlog until like four o'clock in the morning and that was i don't know probably my third night this week staying up that late 
And when I only do that once in a week, it's okay for me to kind of wake up, you know, at a normal time the next day. But today, I literally had no choice. Like, I needed sleep. My body was exhausted. And that experience made me want to talk about this on the vlog because I know that for a lot of people out there, especially creatives in this world where it's like you have to constantly make and make and make and make and create and put out content and just continue to build and build and build, a lot of people don't get enough time to reset and recover and that is so important. So I have this book right here that I've been reading and it talks about balancing P and PC. P for production, PC for production capacity. If all you do is put your energy and time into being productive, then eventually you're gonna run out of production capacity because you're not resetting. So that's rest, that's leisure time, that's family time, that's weekends, you know, do, doing the things that replenish yourself, fill your cup so that you can go out and be productive. There's a story in here about a goose and a golden egg. The fable is a story of a poor farmer who one day discovers in the nest of his pet goose a glittering golden egg. At first, he thinks it must be some kind of trick, but as he starts to throw the egg aside, he has second thoughts and takes it in to be appraised. The egg is pure gold. The farmer can't believe his good fortune. He becomes even more incredulous the following day when the experience is repeated. Day after day, he awakens to rush to the nest and find another golden egg. He becomes fabulously wealthy. It all seems too good to be true. But with his increasing wealth comes greed and impatience. Unable to wait day after day for golden eggs, the farmer decides he will kill the goose and get them all at once. But when he opens the goose, he finds it is empty. There are no golden eggs, and now there is no way to get the eggs. And now, there is no way to get any more. The farmer has destroyed the goose that produced them. Okay, so the golden eggs are productivity, production, finishing things. And the goose is production capacity. See, but if you kill the goose, you're not going to get the golden eggs. And that's what I've been doing in order to make these vlogs. And so I need to figure out a way to still have my goose and the golden eggs. And I think for one, for me personally, that means I'm done drinking, at least in the way that I did last night. I mean, I, I like I said, I only had three drinks, but that affected me. And I woke up not feeling very good today. So that's like one setback. So like diet, what you put in your body, your nutrition, and that goes even beyond the food that you put in. That's also your information diet. What are you looking at on your phone? I don't know about you, but if I spend three hours scrolling on TikTok on my phone, I don't feel that great. So limiting things like that. The other thing is prioritizing sleep. That is so important. Now, obviously I've chosen to take on this crazy task of making a vlog every single day, and I'm not gonna do it forever. This is really just an experiment for me. I honestly think I'm gonna do it for like a week, maybe two and then kind of regroup and build a better system and then bring this out again in the future, but probably not a daily thing. But for now, I'm doing daily. And so these daily vlogs are the golden egg. Every single day, I feel really good when I push upload on YouTube and I got my video done. But the goose, me, is very tired from doing that. So I get to find a better way to balance those two things out. And so with that being said, I had a late start today. I was still able to accomplish most of the things that I wanted to accomplish. And the night is still young. It's eight o'clock right now. Bobby's coming over. We're gonna record some music and continue to just move forward. Cause what else are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you doing? You think you just barge in here? you guys thanks for watching the vlog that's a wrap for today and I'm gonna let Bobby 
play you out with a little beautiful music. Jesus Christ, dude. Clean up your room. Clean up your room. Clean up your room. Clean up your room. Clean up your room.